Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to, it's still on the, the series, uh, the link is down below. Uh, uh, now what I want to talk about is uh, when do you take the physical action of uh, uh, seeing what you can do to um, keep control of your local community. The signs to look for when you need to uh, make your appearance to the fire chief, uh, police chief, sheriff, uh, mayor, uh, whoever your local uh, authorities are, you, there's a, going to be a time when you need to make your presence. And the time won't be uh, once uh, the troops are in your community. Uh, it won't be uh, once the, the, um, the local authorities are telling you what to do. Uh, the thing is, the local authorities will not uh, be over here uh, on the radio. Uh, they won't be uh, 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 having uh, meetings, uh, community meetings. They won't have all this stuff uh, until they have control or they think they have control. And once you get to that point, your battle has already started. We're trying to get all this taken care of before this happens. See, they're not going to have community meetings. It's not going to be announced on TV, radio, and all this other stuff. Uh, these certain rules that you're going to have to go by and, and uh, the FEMA camps and all this. They won't say any of this until it's already in action. And they already have the backing of the state or the feds or whatever, you know, the, the international uh, uh, anything, you know. Once they have the backing, that's when they're going to make these announcements. So in other words, you need to be watching for signs before it gets to that point. And that is what happens uh, on the other side of the state, what happens on the other side of the country, and what happens in other countries. And uh, uh, really, uh, I've already taken all these actions. And because I've seen it coming, it's happening all over, and that's why, uh, like I say, I'm into counter-terror, uh, hostage rescue is my specialty. And anybody that you start getting around me at any period of time at all, you will be learning the stuff that I know. And that's because I need you on my back. I need you to watch my back. I need you to stand with me. I need you to make me strong. Me by myself, I'm like everybody else by themselves. They're nothing. We need each other to get through this mess. So anybody that's around me, I feel them out. I feel if they have the physical capabilities of doing what I do, and then I give them more training. Even the ones that don't, I give them a certain amount of training so they know what to look for. Because I still, I'm still going to need them. And so, uh, so the stuff that I'm good at, I teach the people that are around me that want to learn. And um, so, uh, but, so that's what I'm saying. I see what's going on. That's why now, every place I go, the local authorities know who I am. I introduce myself, and uh, whenever I come back, I reintroduce myself. Uh, I let them know I'm an international traveler. I see what's going on, and I'm in your area. I let them know this stuff. So, uh, but for you, what you're going to have to do is figure out what's going on. And right now, you should already have your three-man militias going. You should be good. You should already be introducing yourself to these uh, local authorities. Uh, but the thing is, once you see something's gone, you need to be in their ear, next to them, whispering in their ear that, man, when you see, okay, in the Capitol, okay, uh, 
St. Louis, I'm out of touch, I don't know what's going on now, but there for a while they were, they were really getting crazy over there. Uh, I think they even brought in some troops and stuff like that. You need to be in earshot from your local authorities and let them know that uh, uh, we wouldn't have that problem in our community because, uh, like I say, the sheriff, uh, he's got the local backing of, uh, of the, the local militia. You know, and when you're saying that to the mayor, then the mayor's going to be thinking, we got a militia, you know, and then he's going to say, well, what's about this militia? And I say, yeah, now I'm part of one militia, and uh, I'm into the water purification, and I've already talked to the sheriff about it. And, uh, you know, so the sheriff knows that he can count on, on me and my militia to give him support on that. And there's some other militias on this. So in other words, they already know that they've got authority in this community and it's not just them there's they they are they are in the position of leading uh, these other authorities if they do it right and so that's why you need to be in earshot of them before this stuff comes into your community. In other words, when that happened in St. Louis, then you need to say, boy, this stuff's not gonna happen in our community. We're set up for it. Our sheriff is ready. Or if, and if you're talking with the sheriff, then you say, uh, uh, and you've already introduced yourself as being part of the, uh, the militia, then you can ask the sheriff and say, well, sheriff has the other, uh, we don't want that kind of, we don't want that kind of uh, activity going on in our community. Uh, have you had the other uh, militias got a hold of you to uh, offer their support? And then if he says no, and then you say, well, hey, I'll get a hold of them and, and uh, we'll, we'll get them over here. You need to know who all, what all kind of people are supporting you and what all at, at, your, at, your, at your hand, what, what, you, what kind of stuff you just say and you got it. And uh, we'll, we'll get the rest of it. See, all of this is seeing to it that outsiders won't be coming in. Because once they, and when you, if you've done all this beforehand, and then once the outsiders, once you just a little bit see them come into the, the, the sheriff department, you look out there and you see some big old black uh, SUV over there with federal tags on there, then you go on and say, well, you know, go in there, what, what's going on? You know, and then you find out they've already done this. You've done this behind our back. You brought in outside forces behind our back. If this is done early on, there are ways to get rid of it. If it's caught early on. If the, the sheriff has already sold you out and it's been a while, if there's a whole bunch of these SUVs out there, then it's going to start getting tricky. Uh, believe it or not, it's too late. You're already under martial law when that happens. Now, like I say, I live in martial law. I, martial law isn't anything you see on TV. Uh, and once they get their, their footing in, they're going to go on and take control. That's why I say we need to take control of federal, I mean, uh, local uh, communities, uh, public uh, facilities. You need to get, a, get control of those. Uh, the sheriff department, uh, fire department, uh, 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 the mayor, and, you know, whatever. Uh, the reason you're doing it is to show support and to give support to those people. Otherwise, they're going to sell you out. And so uh, that's why you need to start taking that action now. This is Mike. No stress, Mike.com.